So here are the last two examples of 3.1. So this says, without graphing, find the following for f of x equals negative 3x squared plus 6x minus 13. So think right away. Uh, it's in standard form. Is that going to open up or down? You've got it. It's going to go down. So if that's the case, then, and it's in standard form, then I'm going to say a equals b equals and c equals. All right, so I kind of ran out of space there, but that's a negative 13. So then how do I find the maximum of the maximum or minimum? Well, I start off with my opposite of b over 2a. So that's that x value. How do I know that? Because that was a, a formula that I gave you earlier and my puppies are woofing in the back. So don't worry about it. Uh, so that would be negative six because it was positive six. So negative six all over two a. So two times negative three is negative six. If you're not sure where I got those numbers, then just pause the video and figure it out. So that means that's going to give me one. So then how do I figure out what is my Y value? Well, I just plug that in. So on the previous page, it said, then you just take F of the opposite of B over 2A. So really what that means is I found the opposite of B over 2A was one. Now I plug that back into my equation. So negative three, I'm gonna leave a blank here, squared plus six, a blank squared minus 13. What goes in that blank? Well, the one from right here. So negative three times one squared. You have to do the one squared first times negative three. So that's negative three plus six times one squared is six. So negative three plus six, positive three minus 13 is 10. So there we go. That's my max or min. And then I think about, uh, is that really 10? No, it's negative 10. Okay, then we decided it was facing down, so that is my maximum. And so I don't have to actually graph this to know what's your domain of a quadratic equation. Yep, it's always going to be negative infinity to positive infinity. And then I know it's facing down, and the top is negative 10. So you have to start at the at like down forever, which is negative infinity, negative 10, does it include the negative 10? The answer is, yep. All right, one last one. But look at this, it's in vertex form, which is beautiful. So uh, I've got, what's your vertex? One, four, good work. And then uh, see in the front, there's nothing there, which really means there's a one. So is it opening up or down? Up, got it. So. Therefore, does that change your domain at all? No, because x could always be anything on an x squared when the mother function is x squared. And the range, so it's opening up and the lowest point is four. So it goes four up to infinity. Can it be four? Yes, it can be four. So I close that and I am all done. Great, so there is all the content for your 3.1.1 and we'll come back with more for 3.1.2. Have a great day.